Did David seriously find himself a new Russian girlfriend? For those of you guys that don't know, a few days ago, David posted this picture right there on his Instagram with a new Russian woman, which got everyone thinking and all of these blog websites saying, has David moved on from Lana and found himself a new girlfriend? Now, I don't wanna drag this out for you guys. I don't wanna waste your time. So long story short, and as far as I can see, the answer is no. Now, I have a handful of different reasonings with all of this. Now, of course, when everyone saw David with this blonde-haired woman that is from Russia, we all kind of started thinking, well, it could possibly make sense because we all saw on national television that Lana keeps lying and lying and lying to David, and clearly, she has absolutely no interest in him to the point where she told David she can't even call him on the phone because her nails are so long and she doesn't like using the phone that he bought bought her. So clearly they, you know, aren't going to work. And he even did say that Lana did end their engagement relationship. And I can only imagine why probably to talk to other men in America. So it could make sense that he was dating, you know, looking for a new woman. He obviously likes women with blonde hair that are from Russia, from over there. So I wouldn't be surprising. However, the one thing that all these blog websites don't, you know, seem to say is that this Tasia woman, whoever she is, did post allegedly on her Instagram story, which as we all know, Instagram stories expire after 24 hours. So I can't see this to confirm, but allegedly she posted on her Instagram story that he works for my dad. He is just a friend and we are not dating. So chill out. So everyone that keeps asking and saying, are they dating? Here is the debunked myth. No, he is not dating her. And I even went on this Tasia lady's Instagram and she's like my age. And we all are well aware that David is significantly older than that. I think he's like in his 60s. So that would just be absolutely insane if they were even dating. And she is, you know, relatively good looking. So that would be bizarre too. But as far as we can see, and according to her, they are not together. And on the topic of David, so many more of you, even some of my friends have been asking me, what is the deal with David after the last tell all that we saw on you know Monday night? Because David said that he spent 250 to 300 thousand dollars that's you know a quarter of a million dollars on this whole ukrainian dating stuff which is absolutely insane and i even had a little tell-all watch party with some of my friends and everyone started asking me what does this guy do for a living to make that much money where he can go around and throw money around here and there like that because that is a ton of money and what do we know well, you know, I've done some research, I've read some articles, and it sounds like the guy works in IT for the government. And just to quote from his LinkedIn, it says that he works as an SR systems programmer for Clark County, which if you search, you know, what that average salary could be, it's a wide range of around $75,000 all the way up to like $120,000. You know, it's it's kind of hard to say where he's at with his career, how long he's been working there and all that kind of stuff. But you can assume on the high side that he could be making anywhere around $120,000 working just for the government. Which when I heard that, I said, wait a second, I could be totally wrong, but I swear when we first saw David at the beginning of the season, they said that he was like a business person. I could be totally wrong. I just, I swore. We saw a picture of David with a Lamborghini and I thought for sure he was like some big shot entrepreneur or business person. Well, no, he works IT for the state. So that is like, you know, not even close to what I was expecting. And $120,000 a year, it's good money. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's phenomenal money, but Jesus Christ, you are going to spend, a, you know, two hundred and fifty dollars to $300,000 and you're making maybe a hundred grand a year. A lot of money, but $300,000 is even more money. So it's like, how does this guy have the money to do this? Now, he did say that he has been, you know, online dating and dating even through like catalogs with Ukrainian women for years, probably like 25 years. So if he did spend 250 to $300,000, you, you could break it up over the years, maybe it's a couple grand a year kind of thing, which is still an absurd amount of money just to try to find love. 
And one other thing on David's income that could really help it is it, it sounded like he was in the army. Maybe he gets somewhat of a pension from that. I'm not totally sure, but it, you know, if he was getting that money and then he also had his job, that could probably add up. And he never had any kids from what we could see. And he lives in Vegas, which I think the cost of living in Vegas is pretty low. And he didn't live in like a mansion or anything. He lived in just like a condo or something. It wasn't some huge, gigantic, fancy mansion. It was nice, but it wasn't anything, you know, insanely big. So if he was really just living conservatively, not spending too much money, maybe he gets 100, 120 grand a year from the IT job. Maybe he gets a little bit of something from being in the army and maybe he's really cheap and he just spends a ton of money on online dating. That is my only assumption and it's pretty insane. And last but not least on today's 90 Day Fiance updates is Jorge. Yes, we all remember Jorge. He is now out of prison and he is in a new relationship. There is the closest picture right there that we have because he has said that he is keeping her identity. I have no idea why, but he is keeping her identity private. Maybe she's a private person. Maybe she doesn't want to get in all the tabloids and drama and everything. So we won't dive too deep into it. However, I don't know anything about her. If you guys do maybe know who she is or anything about her, feel free to let us know. But he did say that she is the love of his life. Hopefully she's a little bit nicer than Enfisa was. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is pretty much it for today's updates, dramas, video, and everything else that's going on. The thing that I thought was hilarious was the David stuff. And just to confirm, no, he is not in a new relationship from what we can see. If you guys know any different and know any drama that I am missing, feel free to comment below and let me know what you think of David and what you think of David's job that was not some huge, gigantic business venture like I thought. So comment below, let me know, and stay tuned for many more videos.